Audiobook Academy Biography Presents Stormy Daniels In October 2016, it was discovered that Stormy Daniels, an adult film star, had been paid $130,000 to keep quiet about her alleged 2006 affair with Donald Trump. This might put the president and his attorney in legal jeopardy. A prominent adult film actress, writer, and director, Stormy Daniels, born Stephanie Gregory Clifford on March 17, 1979, is the real-life Stephanie Gregory Clifford. Penthouse Bet of the Month in 2007 and a stripper since the age of 17, she is a multi-talented performer. Daniels has acted in films including The 40-Year-Old Virgin, Knocked Up, and a Maroon 5 music video in addition to her adult roles. In 2016, Daniels was paid $130,000 after signing an agreement not to divulge her relationship with then-presidential candidate Donald J. Trump after she claimed she slept with him in 2006. After a January 2018 Wall Street Journal report discussing this non-disclosure agreement, Daniels was thrust into the national media limelight. Donald Trump and Stormy Daniels After meeting Trump at the American Century Celebrity Golf event in July 2006, Daniels allegedly began an affair with him. On that weekend, according to Daniels, the two engaged in consensual intercourse in Trump's hotel room, according to his story. As far as Daniels is concerned, Trump offered to have him join him on NBC's The Apprentice in 2007, and the two kept in touch throughout that year, an appearance that did not happen. Donald Trump, whose wife Melania was six months pregnant when the alleged affair occurred, has disputed the allegations. It wasn't until In Touch published Daniels' 2011 interview regarding the alleged affair that the interview was made public. Before the 2016 presidential election, Daniels spoke to ABC's Good Morning America and other media sites about her desire to tell her tale. However, instead of revealing her relationship with Trump, she accepted a $130,000 payment for signing a non-disclosure agreement. An report concerning this non-disclosure agreement and the alleged sexual encounter appeared in the Wall Street Journal back in January of this year. First, Daniels signed a statement denying the existence of a meeting between him and Trump, even going so far as to sign it. It's now been revealed, however, that the claimed affair did occur and that she was forced to keep quiet and hide the facts because of that. In order to get out of the NDA, her lawyer has launched a lawsuit, and she has offered to return the $130,000 she was paid in compensation. Interview with In Touch In Touch's sister journal, Life and Style, published an interview with Daniels in 2011 in which she discussed her relationship with Trump. She was promised a payout of $15,000 for her efforts here. Some of the elements in Daniel's account of events were confirmed by persons who were familiar with her. The story was dropped, and Daniels did not get the $15,000 payment, before it was published in 2011, according to reports that Trump's longtime attorney Michael Cohen made. In Touch published the 2011 interview after the Wall Street Journal reported on the $130,000 payment to Daniels. Trump allegedly told Daniels he thought she was much like his daughter Ivanka since she was both gorgeous and educated. On the other hand, Daniels also said that she was not physically attracted to Trump when she agreed to have sex with him, even if she had enjoyed talking to him. And A. It wasn't until after the Wall Street Journal article was published that Daniels admitted that she had an affair with Trump. A year later, in February 2018, Cohen confessed that he had paid $130,000, he also maintained that he had done so with his own money, and that neither his company nor the Trump campaign were involved. On January 30, 2018, after Trump's State of the Union speech, Daniels appeared on Jimmy Kimmel Live to discuss the Trump-Russia investigation. According to the provisions of the NDA, Cohen sought a temporary restraining order from an arbitrator in February to prevent Daniels from speaking about her connection with Trump. According to Michael Avenatti, Daniels' lawyer, who was not representing her when the NDA was signed in 2016, a lawsuit was filed on March 6 to have the NDA dissolved because Trump had never signed the contract. The agreement uses the pseudonyms Peggy Peterson for Daniels and David Dennison for Trump, and there are places marked for Dennison to sign. Some of Cohen's public utterances, according to the lawsuit, were in violation of the NDA. Additionally, Cohen's side has argued that Daniels's acceptance of the cash and refusal to challenge the contract for months shows that she accepts its legitimacy. An action for $20 million in damages was brought against Daniels in March for several breaches of the NDA. The punishment stipulated in the agreement was that Daniels would pay $1 million for each breach. Trump has jumped into the fray. To reporters on Air Force One on April 5, 2018, 
Trump claimed ignorance about Cohen's NDA signing payment and its source when he said he was unaware of it. In light of the contract's guarantees that could only be fulfilled by Trump, Avenatti may be able to use Trump's admission to depose both Cohen and Trump. Interview on 60 Minutes On March 25, 2018, Daniels conducted an in-depth interview with Anderson Cooper on 60 Minutes, which aired on CBS. Daniels claims she was intimidated in 2011 after speaking to a reporter about her alleged affair with Trump, according to this interview. According to Daniels, she was in Las Vegas with her young daughter when a man approached her and said, Trump should be left alone. Forget the story, she said, before turning to face her daughter and saying, that's a lovely young girl. It would be a tragedy if her mother passed away. Cooper asked Daniels why she had publicly denied the affair throughout the interview. They can make your life terrible in many different ways, she said, adding that she had done so under duress. Daniels also revealed that she signed the NDA in 2016 out of concern for her family's safety and peace of mind. I'm not okay with being made out to be a liar, she said, explaining why she had come out now. Lawsuits against Trump Daniels filed a new complaint against President Trump in April 2018 through her attorney, Avenatti, after a California judge stopped her case against Cohen for 90 days while a criminal investigation into him took place in New York. The lawsuit centered on the president's attempts to discredit her claim of being confronted in a parking lot, including a tweet on April 18 mocking the composite sketch of her alleged assailant as a total con job. According to Avenatti and Daniels, she was harmed to the tune of over $75,000 as a result of his conduct. It was clear that Mr. Trump intended to imply that Ms. Clifford is a liar, not to be believed, that her claims about the threatening encounter are untrue, and that she was falsely accusing the figure shown in the sketch of committing a crime, where no crime had been committed, the suit said. Mr. Trump made his remark with reckless disregard for its truth or falsity, either knowing it was untrue having severe questions about the veracity of his statement, or knowing it was false. The perfume industry. Taking advantage of her celebrity, Daniels revealed in June 2018 that she will be launching a new perfume named Truth. The erotic novelty business It's the Bomb will sell the gender-neutral scent, however a release date, price, and other specifics were not provided at the time of the product announcement. Films for adults. Daniels has risen to the peak of the adult film industry since her first pornographic film in 2002, in which she starred in a lesbian scene, being admitted into three halls of fame and receiving countless honors. She is a successful writer and director in addition to acting. Daniels was a contract player for Wicked Pictures, a leading adult entertainment studio, for many years. When she decided to have a child, she worked with the studio to guarantee that motherhood wouldn't jeopardize her career. She made twice as many films as usual before becoming pregnant, ensuring that fresh releases would continue to arrive during her maternity leave. Daniels joined with Digital Playground, another well-known firm in the business, in January 2018. Goodwill Humping and Space Nuts are two of Daniels' flicks. She starred in the award-winning Western epic Wanted, which she wrote, directed, and performed in. She also incorporated her passion for horses into Unbridled, a film about equestrian events in which she played, wrote, and directed. Stripper. Daniels began stripping when she was 17 years old. Stormy got her stage name after she was already known as Stormy in her everyday life. She went by Stormy Waters before taking inspiration from Jack Daniels' whiskey to become Stormy Daniels. She rose through the ranks of strip clubs to become a headliner, and then entered the world of pornography. While working in porn, Daniels continued to strip, and the 2018 publicity of her claimed affair with Trump allowed her to raise her appearance costs for a nationwide strip club tour. To Rolling Stone, she justified herself, saying, In today's world, we live in a capitalist system. If somebody in any field was approached and told, Hi. I believe they would respond positively. Do you have any idea what job you're doing right now? Would you like to do it for treble your normal compensation next week? Show me one person who would refuse to participate. Daniels was arrested early the morning of July 12, 2018, while performing at a strip club in Columbus, Ohio. According to state law, anyone who appears naked or seminude on a regular basis is barred from touching clients on the premises of a sexually oriented company. Daniels allegedly drew consumers to her bare chest, then did the same to the detectives who approached her. Daniels was charged with three counts of improperly touching a customer and released after paying $6,054 bail. Meanwhile, her lawyer, Avenatti, condemned his client's detention for doing the same performance she has performed at nearly a hundred strip clubs across the country.
He vowed to fight the bogus charges, but he faced little opposition when the charges were dropped later the same day Daniels was arrested. Entertainment in the mainstream. Daniels has been in films such as The 40-Year-Old Virgin, Knocked Up, and Pineapple Express, in addition to adult entertainment. Party Down and Dirt, as well as a music video for Maroon 5's Wake Up Call, are among his other credits. She's incredibly sweet and super clever and amazing to work with, producer and director Judd Apatow told Conan O'Brien, so we just kept asking her to be in all of our movies. When did Stormy Daniels get her start? Stormy Daniels was born on March 17, 1979, in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Early years. Sheila Gregory and Bill Gregory, Daniels' parents, split when she was a toddler. Her mother reared her in Baton Rouge, while her father played a little role in her upbringing. Daniels graduated from Scotlandville Magnet High School in 1997 with the class of 1997. Despite being accepted into numerous institutions, she decided to pursue a career as a dancer instead. Senate candidate. Daniels formed a committee in 2009 to consider running for Senate in her native state of Louisiana. Senator David Vitter, a social conservative who was engaged in the D.C. Madam prostitution scandal, was up for re-election at the time, and Daniels used the campaign slogan screwing people honestly to attack her opponent. At the time, political consultants working with Daniels discovered she had Trump's phone number among her contacts, and she allegedly told them about the alleged affair. Daniels was arrested in 2009 during this exploratory phase on a minor domestic assault charge, which was later dropped. She dropped out of the race in April 2010, citing campaign expenses as the reason. Keep fighting so that one day the voices of the dishwashers, cashiers, bus drivers, and porn stars will be heard just as loudly as the voices of the lawyer, the banker, and the insurance company CEO, she added. Equestrian. Daniels has always had a fondness for horses, which she has maintained throughout her life. She is a nationally renowned equestrian and owns numerous horses. Family. Daniels has lost contact with her parents. She has three marriages, the most recent of which was to musician and fellow adult film actor Glendon Crane, with whom she has a daughter. The couple announced their divorce in July 2018, shortly after her arrest at an Ohio strip joint. Thank you for listening in Audiobook Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and smash that like button for more content like this. See you in next video.